Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. 67 Mustang Pro Touring Car, uh, dressed up like a GT350. This car is bad A. I gotta tell you, we're gonna walk around this thing, but when I fired it up, it is off the hook. Sounds good. 289, and I mean like a built 289 Hypo with four-wheel disc brakes, a suspension on it, big wheels and tires. I mean, just like done, done, done. And I tell you what, for what this car is selling for, you couldn't even come close to reproducing it. We have uh, a photo documentation of the restoration. I'm talking about every single piece on this car has been taken apart, uh, replaced, refurbished, rebuilt, or whatever. And uh, it was just a shell at one time. So uh, maybe we'll uh, also be able to show you some of the, of the video of like the, the album of it too. All right, so come on up here. Let's check out this right here. It's called Silver Frost Metallic Paint. And then it has these matching charcoal stripes, kind of in that same color family. Uh, okay, and then uh, I'm not sure how much clear coat is on here, but it looks pretty good and should be able to protect it for a pretty long time. And then we went ahead and we put the GT350 stripe right here on the side. This has great metallic color, especially in the sunlight. And then charcoal matched wheels to go with it which looks really nice. So check out that, it kind of matches this here. You got the polished lip, big disc brakes right up front. And keep in mind, these cars are really light. We're talking about the coupes are under 3,000 pounds, some of them, okay? And uh, that's why you didn't need 500 horsepower to get these things going. They were a lot lighter than a Camaro and uh, just the way they're constructed too. So uh, the scoops are all in place. This is just a great body style in 67. And I think that uh, especially this one here uh, with some of the great upgrades and uh, modernization of it. But the one thing I really wanted to show you was, if we could, is look underneath here real quick. This is where a lot, a lot of money is spent. Check all this out. All new floor pans, frame is done, uh, torque boxes are all good, all new suspension, rear end, shock, springs, everything is all done. Uh, and that's the kind of money that you're gonna spend. It spends a lot uh, to get to that place. So come on over here, we got four wheel disc brakes. Another big set back here. And these are big tires, man. These are 245, 45, 17s. And the color match trim looks nice. Chrome lug nuts, you know, little stuff like that. Little touches as we walk around. Stripes are run all the way down the back, all the way down here, which is nice. All new bumpers, uh, bezels, reverse lights, gas cap, trunk lock. You know, you say, well, why are you talking about all this stuff? Well, I'm telling you what, man, open up a catalog and build yourself a Mustang out of that catalog. You can easily spend 30 grand uh, from the body shop, taking the car apart, adding all the new chrome pieces, new interior, and what have you. All right, so come on, check this out here. So new bumpers, they wrap the stripes all the way down here, just like they did in the back of the car. Uh, and these cool LED, uh, really bright driving lights in here, new grill, horse, headlights, trim rings, uh, grill surround. You know, I keep rambling on about all the parts, but I'm telling you, man, this is a lot to get restore cars like this. Everybody thinks like, hey, I'm gonna buy this old car for, you know, three grand or whatever, and I'm gonna restore it, I'm gonna make some money on it, let me tell you, brother, it, nobody's making money restoring cars. All right, all right, let's check this out. This is the way to buy a car, is if somebody else restores it, they enjoy it for a little bit, and then they take the, you know, the depreciation of the enjoyment and pass it on to you, and you get to get a car that's A, ready to go, B, restored, See, you can enjoy uh, today. All right, come on in here, let's check this out. So new radiator, even with a sticker on it still. All the new parts in here. This has high energy electronic ignition, and when I start the car for you, you'll know why uh, this car sounds and runs as well as it does, because it's really built around the drivetrain. The drivetrain is this well-built 289. Um, uh, it's got, you know, it's bored a little bit. Plus it has a five-speed in it um, for that extra cruising down the road. It's got a snappy set of gears in the rear and it uh, really rolls down. But you can see all the new wiring in the car, uh, the chrome dress up, Monte Carlo bar, export brace, uh, things like that. And uh, everything in here is new. Even the stickers are probably still on here from, uh, uh, from the hood uh, being brand new. You can see all the stainless steel screws in here. I ramble on about that stuff, man, because I know what it costs to get this stuff done. The horns work, the turn signals work, the headlights work, the driving lights work. Once we get inside, you're going to see this too. There's some cool stuff inside this car that makes this car not only a great pro touring car from the outside, and the driving experience is really good, but the inside of the car uh, is a great place to hang out as well. So let's go check that out. So nothing like having the, uh, uh, the three pedals on the floor. Uh, they're all painted in detail. They got the nice trim around them. 
you know, just another, again, a little upgrade, new mats with the, uh, the running horse, this great console with a stainless here, and you got uh, a couple cup holders, nice digital sound system, all right? Now, this is kind of cool here, so come on, check this out. So you got these gauges here, which are nice. So you got the speedometer, you got a tack built into the middle of the dash, you got uh, obviously fuel, but you got temperature gauge, oil pressure, alternator, and then what you can do if you like, this is, uh, has color changing bulbs in it. And you can change the colors uh, right over here. You can make them more blue, more green, and uh, it makes it like kind of cool. Like the tack is, is green, the gauges are blue. Just uh, adds a little dynamic touch to it. How about this? Cool old style shift knob with the right pattern built into it. Inside here, look back here where the panels are painted, body color. New seat covers, new carpet, new floor mats, new headliner, dome lamp, mirror, dash pad, gauges rebuilt, nice JVC sound system in here. I mean, just everything in here is just uh, uh, rebuilt, refurbished, or replaced. New door panels, uh, handles, window cranks, just uh, goes on and on. Anyway, you know what? Uh, enough of my uh, rambling. How about I fire it up for you so you can hear what it sounds like? All right, closing up the video on this 67 Mustang Pro Touring Car, you know, we talked about a lot of things. Real quick, uh, the big wheels and tires all the way around, uh, four-wheel disc brakes, the upgraded five-speed trans, that killer uh, 289 that's in there, uh, the cool insides here where you have all new interior. There is a lot, a lot of money spent on here. It's got the JVC digital sound. And I think that if you wanted a really cool car for not a gazillion dollars, like this car is off the hook cool. Uh, call us 301. 816-1000, find a way to get this car in your garage, you will not be sorry.